I've got a list in the back that tells you the inoculum groups. So like when you go to the feed store and you say, hey, I need uh, some rhizobium, and they, they come back and they give you the wrong rhizobium, you'll know because you've got this list and it tells you which which things inoculate what. And it's a very useful publication. And that's it. Do y'all have questions or comments, concerns, complaints? If y'all have complaints, let me know now. I got one. Don't, don't, call, don't call up to my boss and be like, Justin did a terrible job. Don't tell me now. What was your complaint? I don't remember. I forgot. Uh, <laughs> oh, and the, uh, and the sun hand. Uh -huh. You know, the sun hand depends what you want to do. If you plan it for core crop, you got to uh, kind of destroy it before they get too tall. Yeah. Because they get real bad. Uh, if you try to put a tiller in there, they get on. Uh, There's like a whole bunch of ropes in the in the field. Yeah. yeah. So that that goes back to that you know that equipment thing. Yeah. So I was saying before you grow a cover crop, understand what equipment you're gonna need to maintain that cover crop. Like the pigeon peas. Pigeon peas are huge. They get a base about that big around, and it's not wood. It's, like, it's real hard. It's real hard. So you have to have like a brush hog. You have to have a big tractor with a brush hog behind it and, and, and crush that stuff uh, and chop it up. And you have to wait till it's dry before you do all that. Uh, pigeon bees will also, if the environment is right, they'll come back the next year. The lab lab too. Lab lab will too? The lab lab you can shred it and uh, they come back. The lab lab is beautiful. And that's the real good. It's pretty though. Beautiful. Yeah. And and lab lab you can make seed. Yeah, lab lab makes seed. Um pigeon peas make seed, all the rest of them make seed except for the uh the salmon. The salmon they may see too, but they don't here. They yeah, seed. they make it here. We're we're for the like I think it's below Corpus Christi that makes seed and above Corpus Christi they don't make seed. They make seed. So so they just don't make enough to uh to harvest like big amount. They don't make it like over there, right, so but they us, make it here. For, but for us, they won't make it because it's like a daily thing. It's not cost effective for you to grow it for seed because they don't give you a lot. Right. Yes. So for the amount of space of being realistic, like David and 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 Jacqueline, this is this is um, it's just a good for for the cover crop, uh, for the big stuff. But for them, I think in the space that they have, that they have to make a lot of production for the small space to be productive. They have to find one that they can use, that both. They can use both. So none of these that, that, that you have there is going to benefit them in their small space because they have their their production is so large it's so it's fabulous by the way i you know I, I i went and i said man they are really using that space so they would have to use just like one literally one row to do a cover crop mm -hmm. let's say if they are then it's going to be so slow yeah move, yeah they but move that around yeah the the way that i see is let's say they plant lettuce right but once they harvest the lettuce, you're already thinking what you're going to put in there. And uh, you're not going to put a cover crop and wait three months because you need the, the, the space. But if you put sweet peas. Yeah, beans, peas, beans. Sweet peas or green beans or something that they benefit the soil, then you kind of doing the cover crop. Because the sweet peas, you're not going to harvest the plant. You just have to harvest the Sweet peas. Right. But see that's why I was that's why I was saying that, you know, there's there's ultra there's other uses for it. Like mm -hmm. the Tutorial. The Tutorial's got those beautiful flowers. Those are marketable. The pigeon peas, those are marketable. Um and then I also mentioned like with the clover. So you can grow clover in conjunction with your uh, with, with certain of your vegetable crops. Um same thing with the uh the killer crystal, because it doesn't get that big. So during the summertime, you can you can put that in between the rows 
אלא אתה כבר, אתם אומרים שאתם כבר מתחילים ל... Now I see that right. I see yeah. that you you have you have your two production rows and you grow in the middle of the production row where you walk you grow the, the cover crop so you harvesting from so you have walkway vegetable walkway vegetable this walkway is going to be your cover crop that way you still can harvest from this side and you still can harvest from this side and that cover crop is feeding these two rows because yeah. the cover crop is going to yeah. help, right? Well, so, so being creative in in the design, in the design of what you're doing goes back to to how you would do it. The other way would be to um, to start looking, and I have a book that I'll share with you. In the, in that book, it has in the back, it has uh, low, medium, and high takers and so when you when you put your vegetables you put the the givers or the takers and what i mean fertilizer right the givers should be the takers should be behind the giver and you put it there and you say okay this um bean is going to go here and then next year i'm going to put uh the broccoli and then I, I don't I don't want to do cabbage. I don't want to do anything after I do that broccoli. I want to make sure I do another bean. Something so, that they put. Yeah. So uh -huh. for for you guys, the Houston, we we'll call you Houston, uh, uh, Crawford and and Kent McKinney. Um, for the Houston, if designing your vegetables to do low, medium, and high takers, and then doing the middle part. For what we talked about, doing the cover crop that's going to stay there, and it doesn't matter if you step on it. Yeah, like he said, the uh, the clover and the broccoli, they work because mm -hmm. we have a lot of clover in that field, not a lot of clover. And one year I plant a, uh, two years ago I plant a uh, broccoli in there, and there was clover growing everywhere, and I decided to don't cut it. And like she said, we walk in there, we step in the clover and everything. But there was the first year that I don't have any worms in the in the broccoli, and the broccoli actually grow real nice mm -hmm. because the the clover was feeding the broccoli. Now, there's another thing that you can do is that you can use your your uh, your crops as cover crops. So well, that, a yeah. good example is uh, is your sweet potatoes. Yep. Because once once sweet potatoes cover everything. Listen, like it's got those uh, purple sweet potatoes, and they've got the really, really big leaves. They fight Bermuda. So, the Bermuda grass, like in my yard, it won't grow under that sweet potato because the sweet potato leaf is so big and there's so much of it that it, it crowds the stuff out. Um, I've, got, I've got some people I'm working with in, uh, at the University of Virgin, in, uh, the US of Virgin Islands, and they're saying that they're trying to use uh, okra as a cover crop. Because if you if you look at okra leaves, they're huge, and if you can get the spacing right on um, the okra, you can use that as a cover crop. So you know, just think creatively about all the, uh, about all this stuff. Um, you know, this is all agroforestry and, and agroecology and all that sort of thing. These are concepts that that you know shouldn't be new to, to any of us. You know, these are things that we've we've seen. You know, people planting on multiple canopies. Like when you've got a low growing thing, you've got a medium thing, you've got a bigger thing. Put all those together so that the, so that you can get maximum utility out of all your uh, out of all your plate, uh, out of all your, uh, your your land area. So using your your crops as a uh, cover crop, you can also you know plant them. Also, you're planting density, or what they call um, let's see, is it bio intensive? Uh, it's, it's like bio-intensive uh, 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 planting, where your crops are planted so close that no weeds can get in there. And you can use different different crops to do that. You don't have to plant all the same thing. You can have like your your companion planting in there so that you take up all the all the uh, space. Because nature does not like a vacuum. It doesn't like an empty spot. Nature wants to fill everything. It wants to fill everything with green stuff. So if, if you didn't plant it, something else green is going to go there because nature said it needed to be. So instead of that, letting nature make that decision, 
you can you can look at what they just said and follow that example. So like, if you've got um, what's one of your big weeds? What's one of your what are your mm -hmm. Those are really cool. Yeah, grass is oh, actually a problem there for everybody. Yeah. 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 So if you've got amaranth growing in your fields, you know that nature wants that amaranth to go there. So instead of growing the weedy amaranth, plant your, your vegetable amaranth or your grain amaranth because that's a good place to grow that because nature already said it. Any other questions? Uh, I will say that this, you know, Russia will go to get some, uh, that is it, for me, that is not the training. When we come like this one, the Russia will come and get more knowledge, more knowledge, more knowledge, but we don't have something to show that we get that knowledge. Next time, can think about give some skill that can help us, like uh, self-security. I think it's take it's take us two days, uh, sorry. It's take us two days. And uh, we can like we stay maybe more than five hours. It's big training. Yeah. And we have uh, very, very more knowledge in our in a man. No. But uh, I think if you have if you have planning like a certificate. Oh, you want a certificate? Yeah, certificate. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. To show the people, yes, I got I, I have knowledge in this uh, yeah yeah. You want to prove that you know. Yeah. You have to prove I know. Yes. You can see me You know that the thing is for us is uh, when we see you doing it. That's kind of our proof that you learn it. Because yeah, see, but you can see in your plan, you have yeah. the, the, the project for this project is uh, your, you say, farmer training. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I, I suppose at the end, maybe in the future, if you can plan it like that. Well, yeah. I, I, I'll tell you, I'll, I'm going to tell you that we want to do a certificate, but you have to really to be, for your certificate to be a valuable certificate, you have to have be a school or you have to be a university giving, <laughs> no, really, you do, you do. We already looked into it because they won't allow us. I can give you a certificate saying, congratulations, you just spent two days with us, right? Mm -hmm. um, but that certificate, really is only your knowledge because to give it to anybody else it's it's not a i'll give you more money or i'll hire you because of that really because because we we have to we have to figure out how we can be accredited so that we can accredit you the the, the thing is you can you can connect you She's can next, connect though. you can connect the your your center, this center, because you say it's an education center, yes, with the government, and they give you the opportunity Pretty to soon. teach somebody. Yes, you, you know, he's an expert. Yeah, now they they are they are um, a teaching organization. We are a mentoring organization. We are support from one from whatever you need something right we find them and we bring them so we're mentoring organization of farmers to help other farmers there's a there's different things and for for to be to be what you're you're talking about they and the universities because there's a national nationwide organization she's a uh, um no Yes, uh, she is also like us, a mentor. She's a farmer mentor. She's gonna give you some more information, but what you come to learn here is different ways of doing what you're already doing. Maybe you catch one thing, or maybe you catch a whole bunch to improve what you're doing or to give you, oh, what did we talk about today? Inspiration. We, want to 
inspire you to do more. You have impressed us in what you already do. So that's our community, our partnership today. Yeah, right. You impressed me and my husband when we went to go see what you were doing, and then we want to inspire you to you do. Can you go. can do like this. Because we we start pretty much like you when yeah. we move here, we buy the land, but we don't farm the whole thing. We used to have a ten by ten garden, mm -hmm. and then from there we grow. We start with no no equipment, like I was telling you yesterday with a chair. <laughs> and then little by little we go uh, from Yes. And but that's what she's saying, uh, apart from the certificate, yeah. it needs to be like more hands-on. Yeah. I mean, because like all the stuff is... Come, come. All the stuff is speaking. Come, I'll find, I'll find a way for you to stay. Them, <laughs> let's say most of them, I don't know them, they get the name. But if I see it, and then we see it on the ground. Now, because like, what, there is one crop we say, it, 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 um, I survived in a drought area or in a water area. Mm -hmm. Our so, farm part of it is like flat land. When it rains, it, it's collecting all this water. So, so we need those type of crop to can survive. So I grew up here. I grew up here. But after I planted it, it started raining. Yeah, I haven't been able to get back out there to wheel. Yeah. So then it, it doesn't look like a field I want to show y'all. Yeah. But we can go look. Yeah. You know what? You know what's are out there. Well, we, I told you that too. We have, we have two presenters more. Yeah. And so, we also have to be on the road yes. in one and a half hours. Yes. So, so okay. yes. So let's, oh, let's uh, let her speak because then we have uh, another gentleman who wants to speak and then you have to be going home. Yeah. But, now I made friends with you. You know how to get here. Google I, it. I will come back. Google it. Yeah. <laughs> and come back. Like, like my friend will want to come and see. Get a bus. Uh, yes. That's what I was saying. I need. Uh, what, is your, what is your what is your growing season over there? I was saying. <laughs> you don't take a, a see, break. We're taking a break really for the first time in August. We're taking in August off, but there'll still be things growing in the farmer. Okay, so so for you to see more more of what we do, you gotta come in the winter. Yeah. Yes, winter, winter, the, the summer, January. Yeah, because that's that's when we have all of that. 